Hi everyone. Prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman as it teaches us on why nothing should steal away our joy and why our joy has to be preserved in all season. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Thank you and God bless you. Feel free to share the link to your friends, your family, your loved ones. Subscribe and like. Thank you so much. Can I tell you to happen in your life before you have joy? If you want to wait for things to be positive before you have joy, then you are not manifesting the full potential of a Christian. Joy is of the Holy Ghost. You can be happy when you have a salary raise. You can be happy it's of the Spirit. You can sit in the midst of a storm and yet rejoice. Is that true? Joy is three or four loved ones and you are rejoicing. Lord, I thank you. I rejoice. Many believers walk as if Jesus Christ just died and they announced his funeral. Many people just, you know, they, the way they walk and live gloominess. And when people ask you, you're easy to speak in the flesh. Why wouldn't I, you know, rejoice? I'm, or why wouldn't I be angry? Why wouldn't I be sad? Look what is happening in my life. That's not how we operate in this kingdom. No. You must make up your mind that absolutely nothing will sustain the ability to tamper with your joy. It may touch any other thing, but if it does not touch your joy, it didn't really touch anything. Let me repeat myself. No matter what you lose in your life, my brothers and my sisters, people of God, if your joy is still with you, the devil only wasted his time. It's true. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. There are many legitimate grounds, as we would call it. In 24 hours, there are enough activities to attempt to suck away the joy of an average African, an average Nigerian. All you need to do is put on your television or internet or whatever it is, go to work and you will find more than enough issues. Someone is annoying you before you get to the office. And some of these things are programmed by the devil because he knows the role that joy has to play in receiving. Let me show you a few scriptures, just an exhortation and then we'll pray. Are we together? The Bible says a few things about joy. Number one, Nahum chapter 8 please from verse 10. Nehemiah really, not Nahum. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. The B part. The Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is strength in the spirit. Amazing. Amazing. That when God wants to impart strength upon the believer, he gives you joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And in this kingdom, you require strength to pull through the vicissitudes of life. If you lack joy, then you lack strength. The Bible says joy is strength. In Psalm 16 and verse 11, Psalm 16 and verse 11, the Bible says, In your presence, thou will show me the path of life in your presence. Now, look, look, this. The Bible says, In God's own presence is full of joy. Wow. No wonder he's almighty. No wonder there are no impossibilities. Why? Because there is joy. The atmosphere that makes that lives with him. In his presence is fullness of joy. And then at your right hand, there are pleasures. Can you imagine the relationship between joy and pleasure? More joy, more pleasure, less joy, less pleasure. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And at your right hand, so the Bible tells us that joy is the believer's strength in this kingdom. In Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3, please give it to us, Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3. Very, very interesting rendition. He now tells us that joy is a fetcher in the realm of the spirit. It is the authorized fetcher that brings out the riches of redemption and makes them accessible to the believer. It says, therefore, 
with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation salvation all of the blessings that came on account of the death the burial and the resurrection of the christ jesus now he says that you will use joy so you use joy to draw healing you use joy to draw restoration are we together now you can stand before a well and yet not have the fetcher that brings water the well is full of water ready for your taking but the fetcher is not there so joy is not only strength to the believer joy is what we seal together very very powerful very very powerful let's look at one scripture i thought this one was really very instructive first peter chapter one please we'll start from verse three first peter chapter one verse three we're reading to verse eight first peter one three now watch this blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead we're reading to eight verse four to an inheritance incorruptible undefiled and that faded not away reserved in heaven for you you who are kept by the power of god through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time verse six now watch this it says wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith be much more precious than gold that perisheth though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of jesus christ read verse 8 with me if you're a christian ready one to read whom have not seen ye love uh-huh in whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable that brings you glory you have not seen it manifest yet you have not seen the manifestation of that prophecy and yet you are full of joy you are full of joy lord i give you praise and they ask you has the job come no not yet it has not manifested i've received it i'm yet to have it and receiving is enough for me to have that joy there is a difference between receiving and having receiving is spiritual having is when it manifests therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire watch this when ye pray believe that ye receive and then if you believe you have received it then you shall have it you cannot have what you have not received the moment you receive by faith now you begin to express joy and let me tell you this you see this is why the faith life the canal the natural man cannot understand or receive the things of the spirit why because they are spiritually discerned why begin to rejoice over something that has not manifested the spiritual fire you desire is yet to come and yet you rejoice with joy unspeakable apostle peter says full of glory can i tell you to happen in your life before you have joy if you want to wait for things to be positive before you have joy then you are not manifesting the full potential of a christian joy is of the holy ghost you can be happy when you have a salary raise you can be happy of the spirit you can sit in the midst of a storm and yet rejoice is that true joy is three or four loved ones and you are rejoicing lord i thank you i rejoice many believers walk as if jesus christ just died and they announced his funeral many people just you know they the way they walk and live gloominess and when people ask you you're easy to speak in the flesh why wouldn't i you know rejoice i am or why wouldn't i be angry why wouldn't i be sad look what is happening in my life that's not how we operate in this kingdom no you must make up your mind that absolutely nothing will sustain the ability to tamper with your joy it may touch any other thing but if it does not touch your joy it didn't really touch anything let me repeat myself no matter what you lose in your life my brothers and my sisters people of god if your joy is still with you the devil only wasted his time mm. it's true 
yet I will rejoice and I will joy in the God of my salvation yet I will rejoice I will joy in the God of my salvation I know that many of you have come thousands and so many thousands others following online trusting God for all kinds of miracles and some of you perhaps from the start of the service you've not even turned to look at your neighbor and say God bless you you're just frowning and waiting and even when the word comes you can say what is this thing now we've had three weeks of teaching go straight to the point <laughs> can I be honest with you can I be honest with you when joy dries in your life it will affect your health the Bible says so it says a merry heart is it in your Bible a merry heart do it good in the similitude of medicine when you swallow a tab, you swallow a drug, you are already happy. The drug has not worked yet, you are smiling. Are we together? Because you trust the pharmacist, you trust those who made it that you have not seen. And even though the evidence has not appeared, oh, I'm suffering malaria, or I'm suffering whatever it is, and you take drug or injection or whatever it is, you begin to rejoice. How are you feeling? You have been like that, yet you say better. Is that true? And after two, three days, the manifestation comes. Make up your mind that while I wait, my joy will continue to grow. While I await the manifestation of prophecy, Satan, you will never find me frowning and then to call God unfaithful. Just because tears are coming out of my eyes does not mean I am not joyful. I will cry while joyful. Are we together? make up your mind that nothing will sustain the ability to stop you from sleeping he is awake you are awake who is lord the bible says the keeper of israel the keeper of israel he neither sleeps nor slumbers and if our god is for us then what could ever stop us and if our God is with us And if our God is for us We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.